Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about subtraction with regrouping in hundreds and tens. So the first we are going to use picture here to help us regrouping the hundreds and the tens. So the first I will write the plus value chart here. Okay, the first we subtract the ones, five minus one. Okay, it means we cross one ones here. Now we have only four ones. So we write four. Next, we are going to subtract the tens because we cannot subtract four minus six. So we take from the hundreds. How to do that? So look at the picture here. We take one hundreds and then we move it into tens. Okay, so I will draw first ten tens because one hundreds is equal to ten tens. Okay, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we regroup them. We have fourteen tens here. Okay, fourteen tens. So I will write first here fourteen tens, and then we have only one, two, two hundreds because this one we already take it into tens. Now, 14 minus 6, it means we have to cross 6 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 tens. Okay. Two minus zero, so we have two. And the answer is 284. Next, I still have another example using picture. 254 minus 172. Okay, again, we start from the ones. Four minus two. Okay, we cross two. One, two. So now we have two ones. Okay, now we subtract the tens because we cannot subtract seven from five or five minus seven. So we take from the hundreds. Okay, we take from the hundreds. Look at the picture. We take one hundreds and then we move into tens so we draw again ten tens three four five six seven eight nine ten okay again we regroup now we have fifteen Tens, 15 tens, and how many hundreds? One, right? Good. So we have one hundreds. Okay, now 15 minus seven, we cross seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens, okay? One minus one, zero, right? So we don't need to write zero. And the answer is 82. Okay, next, we're going to subtract 623 minus 143. Okay, we subtract the ones. Three minus three is equal to zero. Two minus four. We cannot do that, isn't it? So we take from the hundreds. Okay, we take one hundreds. Now it becomes five. 
and the tens becomes twelve. Why twelve? Because ten plus two is equal to twelve. So now twelve minus four is equal to eight. Five minus one is equal to four. So the answer is four hundred eighty. Easy, isn't it? Okay, now we move to the last number. We have 819 minus 354. Okay, 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. 1 minus 5, we cannot do that again. So again, we take from the hundreds. Okay, we take one hundred. Now this is become seven because we already take one, and the tens becomes eleven because ten plus one is equal to eleven. So eleven minus five is equal to six. Seven minus three is equal to four. So we got the answer four hundred sixty five. Okay, students, now it's your turn to practice. I know you can do that by practicing a lot. So see you on our next lesson. Bye-bye.